we've got to have a conversation. Microsoft's security thing, the cyber strike or whatever it is, literally shut them down and it almost shut down the world. Do you have a backup plan? And I don't mean a backup plan like, oh yeah, well, my episodes are all stored somewhere on the cloud. Have you taken your episodes and downloaded them to a hard drive? Are they also backed up in the cloud? What happens if start thinking about your podcast like a freaking business? I'm gonna interrupt our regularly scheduled B Word episode today. My editors are gonna absolutely love me and slide this one in in its place because I think given everything that's been going on, We've got to have a conversation. So on Friday, Microsoft's security thing, the cyber strike or whatever it is, literally shut them down and it almost shut down the world. I'm talking finance, travel. The Atlanta airport was completely shut down. Y'all, if you've never traveled to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, um, well, be glad. It's a, it's a hot mess at all times. It is the most traveled, busiest airport in the world. It is massive. And they couldn't do anything. They couldn't get flights off the ground. They couldn't get you off planes. They could not even run the parking tickets in order to have you pay for the parking deck if you were able to leave. Why? Because all of Hartsfield was on Microsoft. I mean, we tried to call Delta because my mom and dad were flying in from Alaska. Delta's wait line, just to be like waiting to talk to their service people, eight hour wait time. I mean, I, I don't, it's, it's wild to me. It's absolutely mind blowing. Let's take another look though at a couple of things. And then I'm going to land the plane, no pun intended, on how this applies to my listeners like you here on the B Word podcast. So in the last few days, in the last, let's call it week alone, former president Trump was, you know, shot in the head. Biden is being, you know, called to step down. He may not run for president again. We've had this huge cyber attack. Iran, turns out they were also planning to kill former President Trump. And a few days before Friday, I read an article that actually warned about a cyber attack that's going to occur that had, quote unquote, COVID-like effects to cripple the economy. All right. Now, I realize they're not saying at the time of this recording that the, the, the shutdown of Microsoft was a cyber attack. I think it's a little sus personally that you see an article about a potential one and then boom, it happens right after everything else has gone on in United States of America and where our politics are taking place. All right. This is not a political podcast. Y'all know that. This is one about business and podcasting and all those things, but it got me thinking. So I want you thinking too. A few years ago when Instagram and Facebook shut down for like eight hours, coincidence, it's always like eight hours, but when they shut down for like eight hours, creators went nuts. They learned that building a business only on social media may not be the smartest thing ever. And they've got to rely on things also like your email list or tried and true things like a podcast or a YouTube channel, things that you can control just a little bit more than having meta decide to have a temper tantrum. All right. So if we are going to go that far, Take it one step further. And this is where I'm going to encourage you to be a true business owner and start thinking about your podcast and start thinking about your email list like a freaking business because my friend, they are. Do you have a backup plan? I'll let that sit in your mind for just a second. And I don't mean a backup plan like, oh yeah, well, my episodes are all stored somewhere on the cloud. No. Have you taken your episodes and downloaded them to a hard drive? Are they also backed up in the cloud? What happens if, let's just say you're a massive YouTube blogger and that cyber attack, I'm going to go ahead and call it one because in my head, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I think it was. Let's just say it hit YouTube and wiped out all of your data and your analytics and your videos. What then? Do you start over with zero audience? Could you grow your audience again if you had to? You know, there's some insurance companies out there now that are actually offering insurance against your digital products. So if you were to get shut down on Instagram and lose your million and three followers and that shuts down your revenue, you can actually file an insurance claim on that if you have a policy that does that. I've never really considered looking hardcore into something like that. I mean, yes, I've got backup servers and Yes, I know that I'd go to Beehive if my email list got corrupted. I mean, I know all of those things. 
but thinking like a true business owner, what's the next step? What do you do if a cyber attack were to occur and you lose your entire email list? Not just not able to access it, but literally it's wiped and gone. Or is your data protected for your clients? Are you making sure that you've got enough security on your back end with whatever system you're using for payment processing or client information that you're not going to get hacked into, at least not very easily, because you know what you don't want to do? Have to go and let all your clients know that there's a breach of their data. Now, the data you keep may not be critical. I'm not keeping social security numbers, for instance, but I certainly want to respect and value my client's information enough to know that I am using firewalls. I am using systems to protect all of that stuff because as a business owner, it's your responsibility. Your clients trust you. So I know that this one is a short, sweet one. I just wanted to put that little bug in your ear that cyber attacks that can take down something as big as Delta Airlines, which is massive, what could they do to your little business or small business? or huge business? Are you protected? Have you thought it through? Have you sat down with someone? I am not that person, I'm not an expert. But have you sat down with someone and put a plan in place for protecting your business and your clients? In the event that cyber attacks continue to happen, you say, we just never know.